Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a very quick and short video as you guys have read the title. It is going to be an automatic farm. You can go ahead and farm anything you guys want. Wheat, beetroot, potatoes, anything that is not pumpkins or watermelons. You guys can go ahead and use this to go ahead and farm it. As you guys can see, I have tried multiple types of automatic farms. One's right there, which did not work. And also this one right here, which did not work. And I'm pretty sure the reason why these did not work is one, it is very close to the village. And second, for some reason on bedrock, it is very hard to make a... Uh, villagers stick to a com composter this one i was lucky enough to spawn a farm with the egg however it did not stick to this composter so it would not do its job and then i tried it over here as well again and it did not work i tried it in multiple areas for some reason it did not work for me as you guys can see in the, in the distance right there there's another one and then i tried another one all the way back there it just did not work for me and this video was supposed to be out a long time ago but i could not figure this out however yesterday on jc plays channel that is where i got this farm from he uploaded a very quick and easy it was a very little and very i guess resource efficient farm and I want to go ahead and give all the credit to him. I just want to go ahead and show you guys an automatic farm because I did promise you guys an, autom an automatic farm in my first episode of Mori by Adventures. Uh, so that is why I'm bringing this video out to you guys today. Before we get started, I just want to go ahead and say thank you to all of you guys for subscribing to the channel. We have reached 100 subscribers and uh, I've only been uploading videos and everything like that for a month now and we've already reached 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support, all the new subscribers that came in. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I could go ahead and give some credit to Panda Chan because he said he was going to go and share it to a ton of his friends. And uh, after he said that, he said you will get 100 subscribers in three days. I'm not sure how he knew, but when he said that three days later, I get I got 100 subscribers. So I'm pretty sure he shared to shared my channel to a ton of his friends. And I want to go ahead and say a special thank you to him. And thank you to everyone who just joined in the channel and came to the channel. I hope you guys go ahead and stay because this channel is going to help you guys out a lot with your Minecraft Survivor Worlds. With that being said if you guys are interested in minecraft videos that will help you guys out in your survival worlds or minecraft in general go and hit the like button subscribe and notifications on because i will be uploading more and more content that will help you guys out in minecraft i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what you need for this farm so as you guys can see you're gonna need one redstone comparator one hoe you're gonna need three dispensers make sure it's dispensers not droppers you're gonna need one sticky piston three slabs one bucket of water one stairs any type of stair one dirt and then 11 uh, building blocks you're gonna need 10 redstone and also one lever I would say at least try to have three blocks or three stacks of bone meal and then one stack of seeds for this farm to work, uh, you know, somewhat efficiently. But the more bone meal you guys have, the more efficient or the longer this farm will go ahead and work. If you guys need a bone meal farm, go ahead and check out my zero tick sugarcane farm, which is uh, some of these little things right here, right here. If you guys need one uh, like this, you can go and check that out. I will probably upload a more efficient and more updated one. If you guys need one, you can go ahead and check this video out or uh, wait for me to go and upload updated sugarcane farm. Uh, also, if you guys need a mob farm, which can go and give you guys uh, bones and stuff, you can go and check this video out right here and you guys can get a ton of bones out of this uh, farm as well. All right, now you guys need to go and find a location to build this. So as you guys can see, I'll just go ahead and pick right here. Go ahead and get your stair, place one right here. Get your building blocks, place a temporary one right here, and then get your slabs, place one right on top of that block. You can go and destroy this, get a building block, and go ahead and put the permanent one, which you're going to need for the water. Go ahead and get your uh, temporary ones again, place one on each side, put a slab on each one of those uh, blocks destroy the temporary ones go ahead and get your sticky piston go and place it right by the slab then you want to get your dirt and go and place it right here get the water bucket place it right there you want to get your building blocks again go ahead and place one right there and then get your dispenser and go ahead and place it make it face towards the dirt get another one and place it right on top of the piston and then go ahead and get your building blocks you're gonna place three temporary blocks one two three you can go ahead and destroy these two get your dispenser again and you're going to go and place your last dispenser right there you can destroy this block if you want to then you want to go and get your building blocks again place one right on top of the or right by the this uh the slab go and extend it to four blocks that way or three blocks this way go and place two right there then you want to go and extend a little platform all the way to uh this dispenser right here then you want to go and place one last one right by the piston now you want to get your lever and redstone actually before you do that go ahead and tilt this dirt so you guys can go ahead have a tilted or wet darkened tilt dirt so you guys can go ahead and uh, you know start farming and stuff 
You want to get your uh, lever and go and place it right here. Then you want to go and get your comparator, place it to where the two prongs are facing towards the lever, and then go and just click it one time so that, uh, you know, torch can go and turn on or button, whatever it is. You want to get your redstone, go ahead and make a little redstone clock. If you turn this on, as you guys can see, it is going to continue ticking. Go and turn this off for now. Extend the redstone trail all the way to this way. Go and crouch down, place one right on top of this dispenser. Place another one on top of this one. And also this one, then you can go ahead and connect them right on that block. You should have something like this. That means you guys are basically done with your farm. As you guys can see, it should look something like so. Uh, if you guys need to go over the video again, go ahead and replay it. I know sometimes I just go too fast. I apologize for that. Now you want to go and get your bone meal and your seeds. Go ahead and place one st uh, stack of bone meal in each dispenser. Uh, because, you know, it's it's good to have one stack. If you guys want have more, go ahead and place more. Because the more you have, the longer this farm will work. 64 uh, bone meal will not be able to do too much. But you know what? We're probably going to get around a stack of whatever you guys are, you know, wanting to plant. So how this farm work, works is go ahead and uh, make the lever switched on. So this should work. You want to go and hold your plant button and it'll continuously give you crops and stuff. I went to survival so you guys could actually see how much you actually get from this farm. So keep holding your plant button and you will continuously get uh, plants or crops out of this. Uh, after one stack of bone meal, you should be able to have around a stack of whatever you guys are planting because you get seeds and whatever you're planting. If you're planting wheat, you get the seeds back and also the wheat. So you're never really running out of seeds, but you're continuously getting more and more uh, wheat out of this. So after a while, it is going to probably stop working and you will only get around a stack if you have one stack of bone meal each. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm repeating myself, but I'm just trying to let you guys know because after a while, it will stop working. As you guys can see, I'm not getting any more uh, wheat because uh, this one's out, this one's out, and there's just nine left in this one and it will not be able to make it grow by the time it uh, moves the dirt block. So, like I said, if you guys need a bone meal farm, you can go ahead and check out my Zero Tech bone meal or uh, sugarcane farm or my mob farm right there. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that uh, it helped you guys out in some way. This is a good farm, and I want to go ahead and give all the credit to JC Plays again. Uh, you can go and search him up. He has become, he has gotten 100,000 subscribers recently, and uh, he's doing very well on his channel, not going to lie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in more Minecraft content, hit that subscribe button with notifications on. And if you guys like this video, hit that like button. And, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.